It's quite difficult to pick a favourite object, and I think, in a way, um, admitting I have a favourite feels a bit like admitting having a favourite child. It's the first time it's ever been shown in the UK, and that's the Silver Cauldron from Gundestrup in Denmark. The Gundestrup Cauldron is something very, very special. Because it was actually made outside the Celtic world, we think it was made um, in the southeastern Europe, probably down in the Balkans, um, because of the kind of silversmithing techniques that have been used. And then it's actually been found in Denmark, which is to the north of the Celtic world. But someone who commissioned this object um, has asked, presumably, for the inclusion of um, depictions of people using objects from Western Europe, from that Celtic-speaking world, and what we think is um, think of today as that ancient Celtic Europe. So when we look at it, we can see people wearing and using objects like torques and war horns and the kind of things that we're seeing in the show. And there's all kind of fabulous little details. There's a god holding a stag in each hand on one of the panels and um, a tiny man riding a fish. Uh, there's an antlered deity sitting cross-legged, holding in one hand a torque and in the other hand a ram-horned serpent. And when we look at it, it just conjures up a sense of all of these myths and legends and stories and heroes and heroines that we don't know the names of anymore and we don't know the details of those stories, but it brings to life the fact that they must have been there. My favourite panel is the one on the very, very base of the cauldron. You have to climb up probably onto the step to see it um, if you're a little bit shorter like me. Um, and it's coming up three-dimensionally in repoussé of the base. It's a female warrior raising her sword and surrounded by her three hounds. She's jumping and beneath them uh, is a bull rising up out of the bottom of the cauldron, lying down, and they're slaying the bull um, in this scene which must be from an ancient myth. So I hope that people looking at that object will really get a sense of um, a little bit of the magic of this ancient world. And even though we've lost some of the details, we can still get a sense of it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed finding out all about my favorite object. If you'd like to come to the show and choose your own favorite object, you can book your ticket now by clicking the button that's right here. Uh, that's up until the 1st of February, 2016. After that, the show closes at the British Museum, but it's whizzing off up to Edinburgh, where you might be able to catch it from the 10th of March to the 25th of September, 2016. In the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about the show, you can click here to listen to me giving an introduction to the exhibition, or if you'd like to hear my co-curator, Rosie Weech, you can click here to hear her introduction to the show. Thanks very much, and don't forget to subscribe to the British Museum's YouTube channel. Cut! Yes! Come on, good. Done. Done.